First of all, Ukraine matters in terms of what's going on in Ukraine itself. Do you want to have a state on your borders with 46 million people where it's democratic, it's stable, there's a normally operating political system, where it has values that are compatible with that of the European Union, where the economy is growing and people say, hey, I have a future, I can stay here, I can work and prosper and have a family and aspire to better things for my kids. I think that's the kind of Ukraine that, that Europe ought to want to have. I think it's important to understand what Ukrainians want. First of all, I mean, you have a country that is embracing European values. That should be welcome in Europe. Since the Maidan, there have been two elections, national elections, a presidential election, and an election to the Rada, that's their uh, parliament, that were seen as free and fair, met all the European standards, were very good elections. That's important. Institutional Europe, the European Union, NATO ought to ask, what kind of Ukraine do you want on your border? You know, I would argue the best thing for Europe is a stable Ukraine with a democratic system, a growing market economy. That, that's the kind of neighbor you should want. And the goal of supporting Ukraine is basically to allow Ukraine to reach a settlement in eastern Ukraine, but hopefully help Ukraine uh, financially to, to, and through courses of supporting reform in Ukraine to get Ukraine to become that kind of stable market economy, embracing European values, the kind of country that Europe should want as a neighbor.